Hey YouTube, Fast Daddy here. I want to go over with you uh, my experience and uh, what I've discovered is the, the right way to install a front seal on a Dodge Cummins. Uh, mine is, uh, is a 12 valve 94 model. There's, I guess there's differences in these timing covers from different years. Um, so, uh, I want to say that uh, in my research, uh, a lot of the oil leaks are most common to the, um, the front seal. So, it's really crucial that you put it in right. And from what I understand, there's only one way to do it. Uh, what I want to go over with you first on is getting the right timing cover and I don't just mean the year I mean buying a factory OEM one so this one here on on the left is a cheap model from eBay pretty affordable affordable I want to say they're around 50 bucks the the one on the right here that's got some uh, factory paint showing through um, that the black whatever the is painted over it um, was around a hundred bucks on from eBay so there is a uh, quite a bit of difference in the weight of them and how well the factory one is built from, from the aftermarket one um, the one thing that is the seems to be number one problem um, of just getting the seal installed is this hole right here so I took a micrometer and measured this one to, to this one and there's about uh, 10 to 15 thousandths smaller on this hole to, to the factory one on, on my right here. So uh, it, it was, I went through three seals trying to put it in on this one with actually doing it the wrong way but I just determined that uh, this aftermarket one here was not going to work because I just felt it was too small of a hole to get that seal in. I just thought, you know, I have the wrong seal or something. So I did buy um, this OEM, you know, factory one here off of eBay, um, and it and I and I'm right in thinking that it 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 isn't. Uh, it's made to um, better sit that, fit that seal. Um, so, so some things about um, installing a seal. You see um, the, the orange paint on this one. This one is a, um, a dry install, which means you use no uh, sealant, from what I understand. Now the proper way to install it is from the back side here. You cannot install it from the front side on the engine, and you need to saw it off preferably on a flat surface and when you get the uh, the seal it comes like in a kit so this one ring right here is the depth ring here's one out of a package and it goes on the underside like this face down and then your uh, your cover sets sets in it like that and then you drive Here's, a no, here's an old seal that uh, I was unsuccessful about getting in. And then it's uh, driven in this way. Keep the plastic in, and it's driven in like that. Okay, so another tool that you need to install this, which I found on eBay for uh, $10. Now, um, I can't say that it's gonna work because I haven't used it yet, but we're gonna find out here. I know that one from Cummins or Dodge or whoever, it was like a hundred bucks. So this is the tool here. And uh, the seal is uh, put on there just like that. And then you, of course the plastic fell out there. But you can see it's gonna, um, that driver's gonna drive very nicely on this, if this outer edge here without uh, touching this seal and with the plastic on there okay so I'm um, what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna after I get the new one dri driven into this one I'm going to uh, drive this old one 
into that aftermarket one just to just to see if I can do it. I want to see if um, this cheap aftermarket one it can even have a seal driven into it. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna probably do this off camera because I don't really have a not set up to hold a camera on a stand. So we'll get right back to it. So there you go. It took nothing to drive that in. I mean, doing it right. I mean, this tool, using this gauge on this side here. So you use that, you drive it in from the back side. You drive it in too far, you can um, use this, uh, this piece here to drive it back the other way because it pushes on that surface right there. It does not push on the seal. Keep that plastic thing in there. You do not want to damage this seal. This is the, um, this orange seal here. I've seen some blue ones, but that's the dust seal. The one on the other side is the oil seal. Um, back to this aftermarket one. This ring here will not even fit onto that. I could not even hammer that ring on. So, yeah, the, this thing here is literally a POS. So don't buy one. Buy a fact, you know, a factory one. If you don't have, if you don't have one, you, I, I won't ever do that again. So I would strongly suggest buying, you know, the factory one. You know, I, um, I don't claim to be a smart person and and know a lot. Um, in fact, uh, sometimes I'm don't I do dumb things and uh, but uh, I do kind of have a motto that uh, you know to keep quiet or keep my mouth closed unless I know what I'm talking about. So I did a lot of research, and uh, the only way to install it was with this tool here. I will put a link in the description where you can buy this tool. I bought it on eBay um just recently so i mean a ten dollars and it just it does the trick i don't in my opinion i don't think you need spend a lot of money on this tool this 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 puppy here did the job really slick so hope this helps anyone i did also um note that um on the cover for this surface here to help keeping from leaks because there is oil behind this timing uh, cover here. They uh, recommend, and I would recommend also, using a um, some sealant, oil resistant. I use the right stuff. Use it on, a th and I wanna say thin, thin coat. You don't want it to be squishing out and making a mess. So a real thin coat on both sides of the gasket, and then install this thing. So I hope this helps with anyone that's uh, struggling to put a seal in. I know I sure did. Don't be a, a dumb cheap ass like me and buy this POS aftermarket one. I don't know the company it, it came from, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of them, you know, they all come from the same aftermarket Chinese, whatever. But uh, that is the wrong size. And you can't tell me that the seals in the OD on them are different because I've checked from parts houses a lot of the years they're the same so it's not that issue it just won't fit I literally trying to hammer that in with it with a steel hammer on the floor probably distorted this place this uh, timing cover a little bit but hey I, I wanted I wanted to give you guys a, an honest opinion of maybe I just needed the right tool to do it. No, this thing is junk. It's nothing but uh, scrap iron. It's I wouldn't put it on anything. It's not. It's not going to work. It won't hold a seal. So there you go. Hope this helps. You guys have a good one.